All right, so I was reading through the YouTube comments recently and saw a few people were saying they want to hear or see a video of a parts list on your the McCoy, so the Harrow Master DMC. So that's what we're going to do in today's videos. I guess what parts list just means go over all the different parts on the bike, right? Yeah, because so I don't custom. have a parts list, but yeah. I, can, I know it's on. So we'll go over everything we uh, customize on it. But before we get into that, we just got a new box in from Etnies, and this one is really rad, if you will. You want to show them what we got? Is that anything my teeth? Uh, nope. So, John Pova, as always, thank you, man. He's always hooking us up with the good stuff. But these obviously are a pair of the new shoes from the Rad lineup. So, if you guys haven't seen or you're, you haven't been up on Etnies lately, what they have done recently is they're coming out uh, with a whole lineup of gear related to the Rad movie. And I'm pretty sure it's like they're just releasing it like bit by bit. So. Every week or so, it seems like there's new pieces to the collection being released. What do you think? I like the shape of the shoe. It's a nice shoe. I'm a little bright for me. Yeah. Yeah, they got three different colorways, as they call it. These are the black and the bumblebees. But it it's, it's kind of looks like a running shoe and a, and a riding shoe at the same time. Look at that it's, bottom. It's more like a, you know, like a little slider. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a cool shoe. Low here, a lot of support. I actually like how the, what do you call this? The logo, Rad? But like, what part of the shoe is this? Just like the gum wall or whatever? It's the got rim. the Rad logos on it. The yeah. rim. <laughs> you like the Rad logos on it. I kind of like that, yeah. It looks cool. It's got yeah. the Rad Racing logo on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, rad on the tongue as well so can you tilt the mic is that not bothering you that's all like flopped out like that no it's not bothering me it bother you yeah <laughs> what do you want me to do <laughs> put it on the inside <coughs> that's what i did is that what you want is that what you want or is this sure yeah you can make it through this way? yeah how do you like it so far though it's nice. It's is this... better than you hand, handing me that big knot of yeah. wires every day. Yeah, we upgraded our camera setup. Checking the phone a hundred times the recording. <laughs> now we got the wireless gear. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we just, again, big thank you to Etnies, the whole Etnies team, and most importantly, John Pova. That's our man over there. Yeah, in fact, these are the first Etnies that I got. A little higher. Oh, I thought the camera was Got the Michelin. Michelin Man is on there. Yep. Um, and these things are perfect. They Still are just, in great shape too. Yeah, look at the bottom. Look at this. Look at, there's nothing on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no scars, nothing. Tip to butt on this one? Sure. <laughs> Ballot of stern or whatever the boat is. Where do I'll start. On all, the, on all the gun review or all the gun videos I watch, they're always like, all right, we're going tip to butt on this one. <laughs> yeah. What just happened? That's one inch. This is two. These are the possible places that the. Um... So oh, for you low. want me to talk about modifications that I'm going to make, or just what's on the bike? Let's start with what's on the bike, what you've already changed, and then we're going to go into the future stuff. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Cool. Here, the only thing that I have not changed is this one crank and. The seat clamp. Everything else I changed. Um, so let's start, I guess, up here. Change the bars from the stock 
DMC bars. To the Haro Knee Savers. Haro Knee Savers. Um, so, Haro Knee Saver bar, those things just made the bike. I mean, the bike like came together. Yeah. Um, this stem is off my Haro race bike. It's a 24 inch race bike. It's back there, but I stole the stem off of there. And um, these are the forks that came on the Haro, but I got these plates on here for the Magura hydraulic rim brakes. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, hold on. So here are the original bars that the bike came with. Yeah. So you can see it way, your new ones are taller, I would say, right? Yeah. Oh, a little taller, much taller actually. Yeah, and but look at the, the size of the tubing. Look at the size Way of this thicker. tubing and the side of, the, of that. Yeah. Um, it's, this is just a stout looking bar. And the cool thing is, is when you're doing tricks on your pegs or anything on the front, you got all this extra room. Your bars aren't out here in the way. I like, I just like the shape of those two. Yeah. And very cool. You know, every, there's a million bars out there and every once in a while a bar comes along like the, the super big, what do they call the SE bars? The super big honkers super. or whatever. Some yeah, that, that bar is like, you know, legendary and, and these bars are kind of the same way. It's just yeah. a, an iconic bar. Lots of people comment on the videos like, where can I get those? Because I guess they're out of stock everywhere right now. For the, these? For the knee savers, yeah. yeah. I think everything's out of stock right yeah. now. Yeah. So, new bars, ODI grips. ODI Wait. grips, I love these grips. They're five and a quarter inches. And uh, man, I just love the depth out of them. Same uh, stem. This, this stem came off my Haro race bike. Oh, really? Bike. I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So yeah, this stem, stem and the bars just made it. Made it. The stem that was on there was really nice. A lot of this stuff I just changed because I needed black or whatever. It was upside down. What are you getting now? All right. Um, same headset? Yes, that's, that's the same headset. Whoa. And then... Um, New forks. No, these are the original forks. All oh, right, but they Because you got the, um, they're back there, but they, Albie sent me the fork with the uh, post on it mm -hmm. for the um, V-brakes, but I wanted to go to these clamps, which is like this. So these clamps right here, they go around the cylinder of, this is a cylinder right here, Go they go around, you might want to come over here and take a look. Close up? Yeah. Get up in there. You got the green, and these are the Echo clamps. No, what this is is the top is Echo, the bottom is Jitsi. Oh, right. Because this is thicker, and this cylinder actually has to drop. There's a slot in this plate where the cylinder has to set in, and mm -hmm. the clamp has to set in, so it's cut out. And this wasn't tall enough on the bottom to run it on both, so I ran it halfway. But Here's the cool thing. Um, it's drilled out right here. Yeah, so skeletonized like, almost. Yeah, I mean, that's like probably a 50th of an ounce right there. <laughs> and it all adds up. And so. you'll tell, you can tell too. No, I just like Echo makes, I mean, these things weigh nothing, man. Yeah. And, and they clamp really good. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was going to break. They're, um, they look really good. I like their anodizing and the way they machine their, yeah. their clamps. Yep. But this clamp, this type of clamping system, it eliminates all of this. All the bracket. These two brackets. So let me show And them. the quick release. So we got, yeah, the quick release here, the front bracket, I guess you'd say, and then the back bracket, or maybe that's the opposite. Right. And here, on the front, he's literally just running these clamps. Looks way cleaner and so much easier. I'll come up there. And those are just attached to the plate that we welded on there, or he welded on there. So this is a Torx head. Or no, I put I put Allen heads in here, mm. um, and I like them that they're countersunk. Yeah, better. You got right. titanium bolts coming for them, right? I have titanium coming in a different plate with a. Um, there's a washer. It's kind of a washer. It's an oval, p two pieces of aluminum that go in there to give you more adjustment. Mm. But I like the rigid mount, personally. What's that mean? There's no washer in there. It's mounted straight to the cylinder. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you still get all your adjustments. Yeah. Um, but this is just the first design. We're doing Dylan's forks in a couple of days, and there will be, um, That'll be version two, two round tubes, two actually solid rounds coming up. Part way into the forks will be tapped. You won't even see them. And then it's running up inside the head. 
And um, probably version two of the prototype. Uh huh? Version two of the prototype. Version two, version two, and it's gonna be on Dylan's bike, can you believe that? <laughs> but version three will be on RL's bike, and that's gonna be the ones I got from Flip. These, man, if you guys like anything that I've said throughout the last year, this brake is just the coolest, man. It, yeah. I don't ever look for more braking power or feathering control. I just dig the hell out of them. So. And it was funny too, because when we were in Marina last time riding with Patrick, where we did that video showing you guys the forks for the first time on the bike, this guy rode up who was riding there too, and he instantly, the first thing he did when he saw our bikes was like jump right to the Maguras, and he was like, what the hell are these? These are crazy. Yeah. And he was like going nuts over them. Okay, so Magura HS33 front and rear brakes. Yep. Went with a new profile hub in the front and back. Yep, and profile that profile racing. hub has a, a female axle. Okay. So there's two bolts. They're actual hardened bolts that go in through the peg into the center of that axle. So if in order for that axle to bend, it's got to stretch all those threads. Mm -hmm. So um, it just works. It works really good. If you look at them from the front, they look like they're bent down, but they're not. I think it's that there's slack in here on the inside of this peg, oh, and um, saying, yeah. and that the the uh, dropouts move. But as soon as I take those off, the axle is straight. These are bully pegs that I got at JD Cycle Supply. And what rim are you running now? These are actually SE wheels. Oh, really? Yeah, SE rims with a profile hub. <laughs> and then the hookworm tires. And the hookworm tires. Now, there's some really good things about these tires. They're, this is a really good rubber. It's, uh, give, I mean, these things give you traction in dirt. It's mm -hmm. kind of a softer rubber, but you can still spin. But if you're doing any scuffing tricks, you got your foot really mm. sticks good to it. That's cool. Um, and you know, to be honest with you, I went with that because that was the only 2.5 tire that I could find that was available. Everything that I wanted was out of stock. So so yeah, it's the 26 inch by 2.5 hookworm. Yes. Because I believe they come in different sizes. It's a Maxxis tire. Maxxis makes really good tires. Yeah. Um, All right, so go on. Gura levers. Yep. Gura HS33 levers. They're, they are... Um, Those are the two finger levers, right? Yep, and you can flip them on either side. They have a clamp on the top, so you don't have to strip your grips off to take your bars off. You just take these two little um, Torx bolts out. There is, which I learned the other day, there's arrows on these clamps, and uh, the arrows have to be at the top. <laughs> and um, I didn't know that. Interesting. Now I do. So I got those on both sides. So I got hydraulic front and rear rim brakes, yeah. which we did because, and I haven't grind, done any grinds in like a year, or even tried them. I never really did grinds, to be honest with you. But I figured if I ever did, and I had that big, um, rotor out there, that thing's gonna snap. Yep. So um, we're trying to make this bike for, you know, if you wanna ride mini ramps, you wanna cruise, wheelie, freestyle, um, kind of an all around bike. I don't wanna have 10 freaking bikes and I open up the back of my truck, I'm like, I don't know which, is this, what do I ride here? You know, it's, I want one bike that I can do almost everything on. Yeah. I don't know if it's possible, but that's what I'm shooting for. Um, I stole this off my Mike Buff Fat Quad. This is an SEC post. Fat in Ripper. S yeah, Fat Ripper. The seat he post you're referring to, right? Yes, yes, seat post, but the McCoy seat fit right on there. So we still got Dennis on there. And I started going to the cranks. This crank is a Haro crank. And this thing has been through hell and back with me because I've had this on my dirt jumper. Oh, wow. And I'm telling you, that dirt jumper, I've hung on so many jumps and toss my bike and that crank is bulletproof. Um, I, I, I screwed up the other one, so I had to take that one off. This is a stock crank that came on the DMC, mm -hmm. which works fine. Plastic pedals that are hollow, those things work great. Um, you got the Merit sprocket on there? This is a Merit 28, so I was running a 2512, and I went to a 28. What did it come stock with? It was a big one, I remember. Yeah, it was like a nine in the back and like oh, a 33 30, in the front. It, it was, was a like, 38 or a 36. Yeah, it was that big disc. Yeah. It looked like a center line. 
the buzz saw. Yeah, it, one pedal. Well, because I changed wheels. Oh, yeah, the wheel came with that hub, which had a nine rear tooth. And it was like one crank, and you, you could go about, I don't know, a mile and a half. <laughs> so um, I went with something in the middle, 28, 12. Um, this is a titanium. That's all that was available. I just love saying that word, titanium. And then the final thing, the Z coaster. I don't want to forget. Well, don't forget that. this part up here. What? This is my Velcro thing that oh goes. Oh my God! Your ankle strap. <laughs> yeah, to keep my pants from getting the cotton chain. If you guys saw that video where I'm like wheeling, and I just went, <laughs> bam. That thing. I haven't done that since that. So these are Odyssey pegs. Oh, you don't have the bullies in the back. No, nope, you took them mm. for one of your bikes. And these are a little bit smaller outer diameter, which I don't notice. Um, I like that they're flat black. I think that looks cool. Yes. And this is the Z coaster. Yes. Which is uh, kind of a masterpiece. Go, go, go. I, did, I need a thumbs up go, or something. Go, 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 go. Um, so Todd Lyons, who, as far as I know, designs the SE bikes, the SE big bikes, has done, as you know, an unbelievable job. But he's got... There's some geometry in there that's really, really cool. And he, it looks like, to me, it looks like a hardtail frame, like a chopper motorcycle. And that's why I love that, my fat PK, what is it? A PK Ripper Mike Buff fat, fat Ripper <laughs> Mike Buff. Right. It's just a Mike Buff. Well, you do see Ripper. Perry Kramer. Perry Kramer is an old friend of mine from the BMX days, a good racer. And that's his frame also. Yeah. Yes. And then Mike Buff rode Perry's frame, and that's how it became. They became frame partners, I guess. Wow. But anyways, I was trying to figure out the the thing on hardtail motorcycles is you got a straight line, almost straight from here down to the rear dropout on a motorcycle, and that straight line really makes I don't know. It's like the whole world just comes together. But the way that Todd did it is he has this loop, right? And the loop causes this tube to start at an angle from here. So you really don't have to lower. This space is actually really close to the same as on my Fat Ripper. But because of that loop rear end, you know, it comes at a different angle mm -hmm. and it gives it that hardtail look. I mean, that took me three months to figure out. But um, anyways, what I'm going to do is on this bike, this is measurements to change the rear end, which probably won't happen on this customization, but we are gonna drop this down inch and a half, two inches. This will come down, which will make when you do bar tricks on your top tube, make it easier. And I'm gonna to go to a steeper head angle, which we're gonna cut a pie into here. This is William Johnson's idea. Slice these and bend it back just a little bit, get it a little steeper. steeper. Um, and those are the frame modifications. We're supposed to start those tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he said he'd be back Tuesday, so. Cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So what bike are you going to ride while this one's down? Well, he's, that's what I asked him. I said, how long? He goes, I could probably do it in a day. I was like. No way. Well, I'm going to go with a day because that sounded pretty good to me. If <laughs> I bring him all the, all well, <sighs> the first thing I'm going to do is get a piece of three quarter round. And I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna bend the pipe, the three quarter round, how I want it to go. And then I will tape it on there and block this out, you know, just with my hand or whatever, and see how it looks, see if it's everything I hope it would be. And I've, I've built motorcycles that way, bicycles that way. I like to see my thoughts come to life before I go to a prototype. Mm -hmm. And that's one way to do it, you know, is just get a rough thing and see if. Everything is like what you what you want. Once this comes down, you're gonna get closer. You have more room with your leg coming over. It should be a lot better. Very cool. And then with the top tube down, it's easier to get your leg over. Or if you want to do like a tail whip or a rolling tail whips or whatever you want to do, it's just easier. You'll understand this when you get older. Getting that leg over that top bar, <laughs> it's a bear. Yeah. And. Uh, then all this cage, this whole cage will be gone. And we'll be going to something similar to this. 
similar to this kind of a mount, which cleans it up a lot back, a lot more back here. And it also makes it more rigid. This makes the brake more rigid because um, there's nothing flexing in here. But we're also going to have to add a, a support that's going to come somewhere in here. It might be underneath, it might be on top. I'm not sure how it's going to go so that the frame doesn't flex because you lose a lot of your braking there. Yeah, the, the um, steeper head angle is going to be interesting. Inter interesting. Isaac Irvine, that's his last name, right, Irvine? I believe so. Isaac called me and he goes, we were talking on the phone or we were texting. And he was saying, he, it's, he's funny, this is what I dig about Isaac. He's like, I want a steeper head angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Get a steeper head angle. Um, and he wants a front load stem. So Isaac, man, there's your front load, right? There you go. And the steeper head angle's coming, brother, so you can be happy. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, guys, for watching the video. We appreciate it, as always. You want to tell them to like and subscribe? No. No, don't like and subscribe then, I guess. And we'll be back shortly with another update on the McCoy. Yes. All right, we'll see you guys later. All right, guys, have a good one.